So our next step is going to be the nose. So we finished our eyes, moving on to the nose. I'm gonna start off by talking about dog noses, and then I'm gonna move on to kitty noses. Uh, if you have another type of animal, just do your best to apply these guidelines to that. So for this dog, it's straight on photo. So pretty straightforward, haha. <laughs> literally straightforward view of the nose. If you have a side angle, it might be just slightly different, but essentially very much the same. So looking at our picture, we always wanna start with getting a view of what our photo looks like. So for this dog, you might notice that there's, it's a black nose. So there's gonna be different shades of gray. There is a medium shade a darker shade and a highlight shade of gray. Then there's going to be some black in the nostrils and maybe a little line down the center or a little outline across the bottom. So just check out what's there. If you have a brownish pink nose or something, you're going to be mixing brown and pink to create a darker shade, a medium shade, and a highlight shade. And your nostrils, instead of black, maybe they are very dark brown. So there's some subtle differences in the color possibilities here, but essentially it's the same. We're gonna start out by mixing three shades of the nose color, and then we're gonna go from darkest to light. If you have a kitty cat, it's much more simple. You probably have uh, just a one highlight a medium color and then your darkest color. So your nostrils might be black with a little outline, uh, maybe a line down the center depending. And then you're gonna have your medium color pretty much filling the rest of the kitty nose with a highlight somewhere across the top. Um, occasionally you get a nose that has multicolored spots. Uh, do your best to fill those in and feel free to simplify at any time. All right, let's get started. So, I'm gonna start with my medium brush to mix my colors. It's so easier to mix with a slightly bigger brush for medium spaces. So that because this dog has a pretty big nose, I'm gonna use the medium brush. If you have a tiny kitty nose, probably don't need to use your medium brush. A small brush works great. So, black nose, we're creating three shades, right? So the first one, I'll put some color here. I'm just gonna put three little spots of black. If you're using brown and pink, then you would do three spots of brown. I'm gonna rinse the brush off, and we're creating grays. Even though your black nose might look blue, for the sake of not driving yourself crazy with it being weird and blue, we're just gonna use gray with white. If you'd like to add blue and get an even more realistic blue shine, feel free to do so. All right, so we're starting with our darkest. Gonna add couple small scoops of white until you get a noticeably lighter shade than black. If it is almost black, it's still too dark. We want to make sure that each color is definitely noticeably different. So it's better to have a little more contrast than not enough. Your nose will turn into one blob of color. Okay, so I would say that's looking definitely noticeably gray. So for the next one, we're gonna add even more white to get a noticeably lighter shade of gray. Just think of it as a step up. Okay, maybe just a little more in that one. Like I said, well, it's better to have more contrast than not enough. All right. So that looks noticeably lighter to me. 
And our highlight on my dog is very, very light. So we're gonna make that a very light shade of gray. And again, when you're mixing, just try and scoop the paint around in one little spot. That way you have plenty of paint. Just go a little lighter here. Now we're talking. Okay, so I have three shades of gray here. You might be doing three shades of brown and pink, but essentially you wanna have a dark, a medium, and a light color for the nose. Now that I've mixed those, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my small brush just because some of these areas are small and I wanna just stick with one brush throughout the process. So we're gonna start from dark to light and I'm gonna start with black. I'm gonna roll my brush, get that nice fine tip and we're starting with the nostrils. So the nostrils are gonna be the only true black bit on the nose besides maybe the little line down the center and an outline across the bottom. Just look at your picture and see what's there. So starting with the nostrils, taking my time to get the shape, barely touching that canvas. Beautiful, make sure you get all the white And on to the next. Wonderful. So because this doggy does in fact have a dark line in the middle of the nose, I'm gonna go ahead and paint that black as well as an outline across the bottom. Something like that. All right, I'm gonna rinse my brush off and we're gonna move on to your darkest color that you made. Just now I mixed the, the grays. So I'm taking my darkest gray and I'm not gonna bother rolling the brush this time because I'm gonna need plenty of it. So as you can see on the picture, the darkest area on the nose besides the nostrils is right here in the middle and right above the nostrils. So on the picture, you can see that is pretty clearly outlined. And so we're gonna fill that in. Doing my best here to cover up all the white. Making sure I have plenty of paint on the brush so this step is easy. Sometimes I find it helpful to outline the area first. And then fill it in.
glancing over at the photo, sometimes I want to make a slight adjustment. And if you happen to go a little bit out into the nostril or cover something up, you can always uh, go back. For instance, I went a little bit into my nostril here, so I'm just going to come back over with black and darken it. Very nice. So that was the medium color. And we're going to, or the darkest color, rather, we're going to go to the medium color now. Da, 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 da. So looking over at the picture, the medium color looks to be right on the top of the nose and underneath the nose. And then just looking forward a little bit, the highlight's going to be right across the top and a little bit under those nostrils as well. So, starting out. And you can blend a little bit as you go, since the paint is likely still wet, unless you took a break. You can do some blending here by just lightly going over the edge between the two grays, over and over until you get a blend kind of working your way up and out. And you may not want to blend, you might prefer the unblended look. Okay. And if you went a little too far, you can always go back to your darker color and bring the darkness back up a little bit. Lovely. So, let's see, we've got the medium color underneath the nostrils too. Taking my time. Not going to do a ton of blending under here, just so maybe a little bit. Alrighty. And here we go. Wonderful. I'm going to soften it a little bit. I'm just cleaning off the brush, drying it. And I'm going to go over the two colors. Maybe I'll bring some of that dark color back in. Soften the edges. Cover up any little white spots I might see. Okay. And I might even come back over this nostril one more time. Bringing the shape back just in case you lost some of that. Awesome. Sometimes you gotta know when to stop, right? I could keep going. So, got a nice kind of blended highlight there. You can definitely see the difference between the medium and dark color here, but it's not too terribly uh, high contrast either, so it doesn't look too strange and boxy. And finally, the highlight color is across the top here. So I'm going to bring that around. Am 
like so. Might lighten up, add a little bit of the highlight below the nostrils. Checking back on the picture, making sure I'm getting the highlight in the right areas. And I'm gonna do a little bit of blending with the highlight here. Just kind of softening the edges. Might even go all the way into that dark color. Just to come back over the top edge a little bit. Get a little bit of a blend going. Wonderful. I'm just bringing a little bit more highlight down into this side. Just feeling like it needed a little more over here. And there we go. So kind of play around with it until you get the shape that you like. If you wanted to add texture, you could do some little dappling, which is just rolling your brush in the paint and doing some tiny little dots just to add a little texture. If you can see some in your picture, it might be cool. Just want to make sure you're using a low contrast color, so either your darkest into your medium color or your medium color into the darkest color. Maybe just a little bit of the highlight over the medium color. So you can play with this as much or as little as you like. I'm just giving you some ideas about what's possible. I think a little texture looks cool on this guy. Let's see, maybe we'll add just a little more down under the nostrils. That feels like a lot of contrast. We'll darken just a little bit. Have some fun with it. You can always take your darker color back over and soften things, get rid of things. If you tried the stippling, didn't like it, you've got all your colors to cover up anything that you decided was a no. But that's our doggy nose. So for your kitty cats, like I was saying earlier, you would be painting your dark nostrils Maybe the line and an outline across the top and bottom, your medium color filling in, and maybe there's a little wet shiny somewhere on this side. And that is all, folks. On to the next step.